Hi, I'm Austin Manning, and I'm going to be teaching you about the Coase Theorem and how it is applied in the world of economics. The Coase Theorem was first suggested by Nobel Prize winner Ronald Coase. It says that when transaction costs are low and property rights are clearly defined, that private bargains will ensure that the market equilibrium is efficient even when there are externalities. It explains that when externalities are present, a free market will push the quantity to the optimum level. First, let's review negative externalities. There are external costs or benefits that fall on bystanders. We call external costs negative externalities. Let's look at an example. Dan lives next to Paul. Dan plays very loud music that costs Paul $500 in damages. This cost is a negative externality and is much higher if Dan had to bear the entire cost of playing loud music. There are three ways of reducing ne negative externalities. First is taxes, second is through regulation, and third is through the Coase Theorem. Let's look at taxes. The government can impose a tax on the producer. The benefit is the amount of negative externality is reduced. However, it is difficult to monitor and therefore monitor monitoring costs are high. Now regulation. There are two types. First, technology specific is when government mandates efficient technology to reduce externalities. The problem with this approach is that there are usually many methods of being efficient and the government may not have enough information to choose the least costly method. The second part of regulation is simply restricting the quantity that can be produced. The benefit to this is it creates incentives to reduce the externality while the problem is monitor monitoring costs are high. Now, la now lastly, the Coase Theorem. Let's return to the previous example with Dan and Paul. Let's say we can define property rights in favor of Dan. Paul then has an incentive to negotiate with Dan to reduce the amount of noise created. Paul can pay Dan a transaction cost and both parties are better off, including everyone else. If property rights are in favor of Paul, Instead of Paul demanding Dan stop producing noise altogether, the two can negotiate. Dan can pay Paul a transaction cost in order to produce an efficient level of noise. Both parties are better off, including everyone else. And I hope that was simple and clear, and I hope that you guys learned something about the Coase Theorem, and thank you for watching.